Okay, so day four, you know, Valley. Today, down to the edge of the beacons is the plan. As you can probably see, I'm running on my own this morning. It's because uh, I've done some fantastic faffing and uh, also uh, can probably go in a bit quicker than some of the other guys I've been walking with, so I'm. Uh, might as well have the extra time and sort myself out and slow down a bit later on. So, uh, good day in the end yesterday. Uh, sort of finished in darkness again, but only just uh, 70 kilometres, so it's pretty reasonable. Uh, just going to see. Yep, this is my path. sure how I get into it. So yeah. Yeah I finished well yesterday. I think it was 18th yesterday or something like that. So it's down to a war of attrition now. There's uh I spoke to Shane last night and said there was uh 38 or 37 37 or 38 finishes on day one and day two and then there was 28 yesterday. So it's uh certainly living up to a billing of uh, being one of the toughest races in the world because um, uh, many of the people that were out on day one or you know done the MDS and most of the desert marathons and all the other various hundred milers and all the rest of it so it's uh, yeah it's good but pretty really chip I had a really good food last night Really great curry and uh, uh, had a great curry last night and had uh, two and a half portions. So it's like a big mess tin, two and a half big mess tins, and uh, more fluid than I've had for a long time. So that was great. Um, and uh, but probably twice as much breakfast today as well. So, feeling, uh, feeling good. Right. We've got a bunch to bit here in a minute. The leading peloton is still looking ahead. But, uh, we've uh, got a bunch to get. It's more like the Yeli Road sections. Going quite well though, so. Being. Going to hours 20 and running pretty much all of it, 10 to 12k per hour, so keep yeah. well, but wheels will fall off soon. What chaps? Good morning, sir. How are you doing? Are you right? Yeah, yeah. Back to the game, which is really news. It's been a bit of a saving today. Uh, so, uh, we're really, really well for quite a while, for about two and a half hours, managing sort of 10 and a half, 12 and a half minute Ks, uh, yeah, okay, kind of kilometers per hour. Um, so, yeah, that equates to 56 minutes per 10K. Um, and I was cranking that out for about two, two and a half hours this morning. Um, and uh, really loving it. Uh, had a bit of a selfish morning and uh, sort of put my stereo in and just went for a run, really. And I uh, was loving it, but um, uh, kept up with the, the leaders for a while as well when they uh, finally came past us, so over a load of rough ground. Um, so that was really, uh, that was a bit of a highlight. And then uh, disaster struck. So basically, my shins are in absolute bits, so incredibly painful. I've got to a point where I'm actually taking painkillers, which I didn't expect to do at all. Um, so, because well, they kind of ride it out, but they're just so painful I wouldn't finish it if I didn't have them. Um, so, um, certainly been a really tough uh, sort of second half of the day. So we're in the Yilan Valley, um, it's really rough underfoot. Um, you know, surprisingly enough, there's some more hills, really. Oh, there's a couple of people behind us, looks like they're catching up. Uh, but, uh, 
Rob and I are all about the finish now, so we're uh, just striding it out and put one foot instead of the other and finish the day. And then our reward is uh, day five's map, and uh, the reward from that is the uh, is the trophy. So, yep, good day, good day and a bad day.